want y'all to know that when I do my videos and stuff that I don't be playing. Look at that. Well, welcome to the Station Bakery. I'm Courtney and today I'm going to be breaking down for you all my luxurious velvety smooth buttercream. Let's get into breaking down the ingredients that you will need for this recipe. So we have here powdered sugar. Then we have our butter and we have egg whites. Now you may be gathering and putting together that this is going to be Swiss meringue buttercream. And you would kind of be right, kind of. Yes, this is a version and form of Swiss meringue buttercream, but it's much easier without the stress of having to make sure that you heat up the eggs to the proper temperature. Each of these ingredients plays a very specific role in making this buttercream. The powdered sugar is what's going to give it the sweet flavor and create a delicious buttercream. We also have butter. Now there's this whole debate about whether you should use salted or unsalted. I always go with salted buttercream, I mean salted butter, one because I always forget to add the salt. <laughs> and two, it's just much easier to already have the salt incorporated and I'm not too picky over the level of salt that may or may not be in the butter. But please feel free to use unsalted butter and add in a dash or pinch of salt as you see fit. Next we have our egg whites. The reason why we're going with egg whites over whole eggs that are separated into egg whites is because these egg whites are already pasteurized, meaning that there is no need to heat them. They are already safe for consumption as is. So it takes out that extra step of having to heat down your egg whites and the sugar to a specific temperature to make sure that it is safe for consumption to make your meringue. My recipe is so easy and so simple to follow and use. I work in a 144 ratio. <laughs> it's super easy to scale up or down your recipes and it will work without fail, no matter how much buttercream you need for your orders. I start off with eight ounces of liquid egg whites, eight sticks of butter or 32 ounces of butter, and then 32 ounces of powdered sugar. This is my base recipe and I adjust from there depending on my needs. All right, now let's make this buttercream. I'm adding in my room temperature egg whites into my stand mixer. I'm now going to pour in my 32 ounces of powdered sugar as well. And as you can see, I have my whisk attachment attached and this is what you're going to use for the first part of this recipe. We're going to whip it up on medium high speed, which is about seven or eight on the kitchen aid. And we're gonna whip that up until we get a nice meringue that looks just like this. Once you have your foam meringue made, you're then going to start adding in our sticks of butter. For my recipe, it calls for eight sticks of butter. And so we're just going to open those up and place them inside of the stand mixer and let that whip up on the same medium high speed. I'm going to let this mix up for quite a few minutes until I get a nice, light, fluffy, and creamy buttercream. During this process as well, I like to add in my vanilla flavoring, but you can add in whatever flavorings you choose. All right, so now it has whipped up. Look at how beautiful that already is. Oh, just so delicious. So delicious. Take a look and see. Look at all of that. Look at how beautiful it already is. Look at that. Can you see that? I don't even know if y'all can see that, but it's so smooth already. And the only difference is time. We're putting on this paddle attachment, but part of the key too is to not turn it all the way up. You want to put this as low as it can go and just leave it. Walk away, let it be. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna come back and show you what it looks like after a few minutes of just letting it do its thing. And here we are, you guys. We are pretty much at the finish line. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that buttercream is. Absolutely beautiful. So even though 
buttercream and things it looks thick I mean it looks very watery and liquidy which is you know you don't want that because it's not gonna hold up you can see here how stiff it is it's super silky super smooth and fluidy but still thick enough to hold and keep its shape which is great for stacking your cakes and decorating your cakes in is it's just perfect it is perfect 